Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Emma Cox. Long time no see. Um, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and enjoying the warmer weather during these weird times that we're living through right now. I am looking forward to the day that we can all meet together in person again. But in the meantime, our lovely Relief Society president, Sister Sykes, has asked me to share a little bit of a thought about our Come Follow Me lesson from this week, which is Mosiah chapters 18 through 24. So I want to focus on chapter 24 for a minute. Um, as a recap, the people of Alma were living in the city of Helam when the Lamanites came in and took over the land. Um, the Lamanites put Amulon, who was formerly one of King Noah's priests who had allied with the Lamanites, they put Amulon in charge of the people of Alma, and they were persecuted and forced to work for the Lamanites to be slaves, essentially. Um, in the face of their burdens, they cried unto the Lord all day long, and this bothered Amulon, so he made praying illegal, and put guards over them to stop them from praying aloud. So, with this context in mind, I would like to read a little bit from Mosiah chapter 24, verses 12 and 14. Well, 12 through 14. And Alma and his people did not raise their voices to the Lord their God, but did pour out their hearts to him, and he did know the thoughts of their hearts. And it came to pass that the voice of the Lord came to them in their afflictions, saying, Lift up your heads and be of good comfort, for I know of the covenant which ye have made unto me, and I will covenant with my people and deliver them out of bondage. And I will also ease the burdens which are put upon your shoulders, that even ye cannot feel them upon your backs, even while you are in bondage. And this will I do, that ye may stand as witnesses for me hereafter, that ye may know of a surety that I, the Lord God, do visit my people in their afflictions. So I was thinking about our current situation in this context, and while we may not be enslaved to wicked men, I think most of us are probably dealing with more burdens than we were when all of this started. I read someone online say that we're all weathering the same storm, but we're all in different boats. Um... So whatever challenges this season of our times it has brought into your life, I want to bear my testimony that prayer works. Alma's people were not delivered immediately, but they were able to more easily and more happily bear their burdens because they poured their hearts out to God. And I can only imagine the fears and frustrations and sorrows and probably just plain exhaustion that they struggled with in those prayers. For their faith, they were supported by heavenly love and peace that passes all understanding, and they were even cheerful. And eventually, they were delivered, and then they got to pour out their hearts in gratitude instead. Um, I think these verses also serve as a reminder that God is a covenant keeper. And if we are faithful, he will remember us, and he has promised to deliver us. Um, President Thomas S. Monson said in the talk that was cited in this week's lesson, whether it is the best of times or the worst of times, he is with us. He has promised that this will never change. My brothers and sisters, may we have a commitment to our Heavenly Father that does not ebb and flow with the years or the crises of our lives. We should not need to experience difficulties for us to remember him, and we should not be driven to humility before giving him our faith and trust. So that being said, I think these circumstances today may be an opportunity to pray harder and to trust more than maybe we ever have before. Someday the quarantine will come to an end, but will we have learned what God could teach us through it? I bear testimony that God hears, that God answers, and that God delivers. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Have a nice day.